Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to install a web server for PHP development on a Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. First thing we have to do is SSH onto our Pi because the Pi I'm using is a Raspberry Pi W and is headless. So right click on your start menu, go Windows PowerShell Admin. Say yes to the prompt that appears for user account control. And then once you're at the command prompt, type SSH, pi, at. And if these are all set for the default at the moment, if you've changed any of these settings, then you'll have to edit this. So what I'm saying here is SSH, user pi, then at Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is the address of the Raspberry Pi, so in this case the host name is called Raspberry Pi, and then I'll hit return. It's asking me for the password to log in, so if you're using a default installation, that's Raspberry. If you're not, then it's whatever you entered when you changed the password. And now that I'm connected, I can type clear to clear the screen. Spike's adding his own sound effects at the moment. And the first thing you have to do is do sudo apt get update, and this will check for any software updates that are currently available for your Raspberry Pi. Okay, now to upgrade anything that requires upgrades, you do sudo apt get upgrade. Now sudo stands for super user do, apt dash get is the application that usually installs or removes applications, and upgrade is obviously what we want to do in this case. So we hit return. As you can see, it does require 1.5 gig of additional files because there's some packages that need updated, so I'm going to say yes and wait for that to update. Hit return. Okay, now everything is up to date. For this web server, I'm going to be using Nginx, or N-G-I-N-X, whichever way you prefer to pronounce it. So to install that, we do sudo space apt space install space Nginx. So that's super user do apt the application manager, install what we want to do with it, and Nginx what we want to install, and hit return. It's saying this is going to take roughly about 9 meg of extra space, so I'm just going to say yes and hit return. Okay, so now that it's installed, we have to ensure that it actually starts the web server. So to do that, we run sudo slash etc slash init dot d, so that's initiate daemon, slash nginx space start, and then hit return. And it should stay starting, and it does. So now let's confirm that it's actually started. 192.168.0.180 Now that's the IP address of this server. This will be different depending on what static IP address you have assigned to yours. And there we go. Welcome to Nginx. So our Nginx web server is now currently running. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.